Okay, we are back. It is currently April 2nd of the year 1. So on May 1st, that is when I'm going to be ending this playthrough. And I'm still currently working on 1.19.7. You can see here. I'm not going to bother updating the server anymore. So all we're really doing at this point in time is just... Finishing up some things that I haven't finished yet. I Right now I'm currently smelting down some additional tin bronze. I'm probably going to make some tin bronze lanterns because I just have so many tin bronze ingots at this point. And I still need to finish this windmill tower. And I'm pulverizing something. Oh yeah, I'm pulverizing the titanium. So we're making lanterns and I'm building more paths on the surface here. Just like going to traders, going other places. Well, let's just go ahead and do that. Oh, I also need to... I still have like iron or not iron, uh, nickel here. I need to smelt that down because now I have cokes that I can use to smelt it down. I'm going to continue building up more paths. So it's really just busy work as I wind down this playthrough. And these trees finally grown. And over there as well. I don't necessarily think we need to go down into any more caves at this point. I we have pretty much have all the resources we need. Okay, the path is supposed to be going through here, I believe. Yeah. And I want this going south. So we've managed to finish the resins archives. So we have the glider schematic, but I don't think it's changed since the last version of the game. So it's still as useless as it was back then. Right now I'm going to build a path going in this direction. Probably need to just burn all this stuff off. I wish it was easier to spread these fires. So this is gonna be a while. Oh yeah, I've also began my seven days to die playthrough. It is currently, the game is currently version 1.0. It is, I guess, technically finished, but not exactly sure on that. Cause people are saying it's there's still missing a lot of things, but it's version 1.0. You don't go to version 1.0 unless it's done. So, I don't know what's going on in the development side of things for that game, but I've began my playthrough of that, and I've, I'm have i doing it on a dedicated server, just like with my Vintage Story playthrough. Uh, I basically learned how to download Steam on Linux and run a server from it and the server is running on this same machine that I'm running this playthrough on and the funny thing is this game takes up vintage story takes up 1.5 gigabytes of RAM whereas seven days to die is taking up well when I started the world it was at 11 gigabytes and then I finished my first play th uh, play session of it and now it's up to 16 gigabytes so it's utilizing like half of the RAM on this virtual machine that I'm running. But if the world grows so big that it supersedes, like it surpasses 32 gigabytes, then I can always assign more RAM to the virtual machine. So I'm not too worried about running out of RAM. It, the machine itself, the like the actual hardware of my server has 256 gigabytes of RAM. And right now it's only using 160 gigabytes for every virtual machine on there, so still have plenty of space to expand. 
But anyway, I am liking the game. Like in the previous playthrough of Seven Days to Die, I started getting a little bored towards the end, but managed to make it to like 15 Horde Knights. Wait, where's... where was I building? Oh, here it is. Yeah, it was getting a little boring towards the end, but... I skipped Alpha 21, and instead of doing an Alpha 22, they just went into 1.0, so now I'm playing it again. And I'm having fun with the changes that they made to it. They added, like, a lot of content in terms of POIs. Uh, I'm still discovering all the different changes. So, check it out when you have a chance. Anyway, let's just continue doing this. Now, the pies in the... I have in the cellar is about to expire. I think it's like 10 more days. But the temperature is going up, so the lifespan is actually decreasing. So, I don't know if it's going to last for the rest of the playthrough. But at the very least, I still have all the jam that I never touched throughout the winter. So, I'm not going to go starving. I have plenty of food still. I got plenty of meat uh, preserved still. So once all the titanium is pulverized in the pulverizer, then I'll switch back to the health hammer and start pumping out the ingots. Or the plates from the ingots. I still need to burn through this entire thing. It does take a lot of work to make this path, but once you have it, you can traverse a lot of terrain, like, really quickly. And this passes through the uh, wild beehives. Didn't even realize that. And that's a pig over there. I think that pig is gonna die. My iron mine is somewhere over here. Well, there's the clay deposit. Oh, yeah, the iron mine is like still a ways over there. It's that T right there with the packed dirt. Oh, piggy is burning. Oh, shit. And he's aggroed. He's aggroed. He's mad at me. Well, I'm gonna have to do that. And then we'll start burning in this direction. I don't really care if the wild beehive... Uh, gets burned down. I already have the location of multiple wild beehives anyway, in case, like, I lose uh, that one. And if I lose my skeps in my home, then, like, I can still rebuild. But I don't think it's going to matter, like, at this point in time. Right now, I'm just clearing the path so that I can build my paths here. And then during the nighttime, we'll do the health hammer stuff.
Now, there are some caves around here, but if I remember the prospecting results correctly, there's really no resources around here. That's why I didn't really go down them. But there's like a hole there, so... Maybe I should just check it out. There can still be ruins down there. Uh, possibly another translocator. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I get a good burn going. Just so that all of this brush can get cleared out while I'm down there. There we go. Oh, jeez! There's... Oh, jeez. There's, there's a hole right there. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, really need to clear out this brush because I never really saw that there. Let's make sure we get this cleared out. Now, I want to build a path south from here because not only do I have a builder trader there, I also have, like, access to black coal, sulfur, and other resources. Okay, so while this is all burning, there's supposed to be another hole somewhere around here, and it's right there. So let's burn down this brush here to reveal the cave. And then let's continue dumping this path. Get these blocks out of the way. And then we'll also light it so that we can have a nice lit path when we're going through here. Even though I have like several stacks of these paths, like it's probably not even going to be enough. Let's just continue spreading this fire here. This fire really doesn't want to spread. All right, you know what? Just let's just get rid of these. Okay, so deep hole, and we got our ladders here. Oh, for, oh, oh my God! All right, you got me, game. All right, let's just dig this out. And check out this cave. And it goes even deeper. Hey, there's something there. I th looks like iron. Oh, it goes down even deeper. Oh, all right then.
So I'm just gonna burn ladders this way. <laughs> like, we have a lot of ladders at this point, so I don't mind, like, burning it. Not burning, burning it, but using it up. Okay, so we got brown coal here. And we got brown coal here. Oh, what the? F oh, that was trippy. I was looking up. Okay, more brown coal. More brown coal. Yeah, we really don't need this much brown coal. Hello. Ow. Oh, you can stay down there. Let's go up here. Yeah, I can hear the fire is still burning above. More brown coal. Lots of brown coal. Like, we still have several stacks of brown coal back in our chests. But if we ever need more, then we always take this stuff. Glow worms. More brown coal. Oh, here we go. Look at this fancy ruin here. Let me just check this area real quick. Oh, we got silver. Dead end. All right, let's check out that ruin here. Just need to remember the silver we found here and come back for it later. If we have time and if I remember it. Okay, we got a static translocator here. It's also in these fancy, like, Ashtar blocks as well. Uh, we can come back for him later, I guess. We got survivor mask. Nah. Take the gears. We'll take sticks. Okay, nothing else in these boxes. Yeah, we're coming back for you later on. What's down here? This go this goes down even further. Oh jeez. I feel like we should just create just fill this in. A oh, surface drifter. So we're not that far from the surface. a lot of ladders though like damn
Hi there. Oh my god. Hell no. That goes like really, really deep and now those drifters are chasing me. Okay, let's do some prospecting. Hematite, Lignite... Okay, so it's probably not worth it to go all the way down there. It's also very unstable, so we do need to get out of here. But I also want to continue exploring this place. I got brown coal here. I'm just gonna leave that torch there. We're down to 33% on stability. All right, how do I get out of here? I think it's this way. But we still haven't explored this hole yet, but... Oh well. Oh yeah, that's right, I still need to build the ladder going back up here. Probably should do that. You know, these plants are really annoying like they were supposed to burn down but it's hard to get this fire to spread and we'll just make the path like this that way we have direct access to it. That big. through here uh, this isn't even hitting the right spot okay so we'll just dig through this Since we're going to need the dirt, might as well just clear out this entire section over here. Still technically in an unstable area. Okay, this works. Um, even though we still have paths left. 
I think this is fine for now. Like, we're gonna return home. Actually, the windmills are not turning that fast. So, probably shouldn't work on the... Work with the health hammer right now. Hey, we have sort of fast travel. So there's that. I need to get back my... Uh, stability before we go back into that cave again. Okay, I'm gonna have to deal with this. Let's just get more cokes going at this point. Like, making the cokes is kind of a slow and tedious process, so... It's probably gonna need, like, multiple coke ovens to generate a respectable amount. Oh, this looks done. Get rid of you and you. Use a little put the metal parts in here. We got 182 gears at this point. Okay, so we'll keep two of these stacks of blocks with me. This pack dirt here. Still got 10 more prospecting things for the pick here before it's all done. And I need to put the coke somewhere. Is this even done? Yes, it is. So we got all of this crushed titanium. We just need more clay. And more olivine. Actually, we can get some more uh, pasta translocator in the resonance archives there. But for the time being, um, how about we get this glass going over here? Just put away the paths here. I have a feeling we're going to need more glass. Yep, definitely going to need more glass. So how about I just... Hmm. That's odd. Yeah, it's going to be glass tower... Yeah, I really do need more glass. Just get that out of the way first. You know what? Let's let's get the bloomeries going first. Just put this in here. 